everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so happy to have you here with me today because I'm going to be talking microneedling or derma rolling and the changes that I have been going through with regard to my thoughts about derma rolling. But before I get into that, I did want to show you my outfit of the day and a lot of it is from Amazon. The top is from Amazon. I have it in a zillion different colors. It's a great halter top. And then I have the Levi's wedgie jeans also from Amazon. All the jewelry is from Amazon. I particularly like this little bracelet and this bracelet is maybe 10 or 12 bucks. It has not tarnished on me in the year I've had it. And you can also, for maybe an extra buck, you can engrave the inside. And this one says, which I created it, I follow Christ. In fact, I forgot when I ordered it that in the middle of the night I had written in there, I follow Christ. And I really do like that. And I have my newest Teddy Blake purse and I love this purse. And I will be showing this in my fashion videos because I have really needed a smaller black purse. And this one is a super quality one, very, very classic. And I have a discount code below if you'd like to check that out. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It's totally free. And if you click that bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would help it in the YouTube algorithm, which helps more people see it, which I would really appreciate. Okay, I recently did a video about six steps to firm my skin. And I mentioned my derma rolling practice. And a lot of you said, hey, I kind of forgotten you did that. Can you explain that again? You know, what you're doing and why you think it helps. And so that is what this video is going to be about. And I will actually be showing you a derma rolling session, the session that I use on my face and neck once per week. And again, I wouldn't do it any more than that. Although with the depth of needle that I am using, which is a 0.25 or a 0.3 depth, very shallow derma roller needle, they say you could even do it every day if you wanted, but I don't think I would do that. I am just doing it once a week. And I used to use a much more deep needle. On my face, I used a 0.5 derma roller. And on my body, I used this little guy at a 1.5 mm. On my body, I used a very deep needle, a very long needle, but I only used it on my body once a month because you do need to give the collagen time to regrow between injuring it basically with your little derma roller. And before I get into why I do this and what I think the benefits are, I did want to tell you briefly, if you're not familiar with derma rolling, basically it is a little roller device with real needles. You can't see them there. These are cosmetic depth or very short needles of 0.25 to 0.3 mm. And basically the idea behind this is when you run this over your skin and you don't puncture your skin, you're not going to draw blood if you're doing it right but you just run it over your skin. And again, I'll show you that session in just a few minutes. But basically what you're doing, you're making little micro wounds. And then over time, the skin rushes in, the fibroblasts rush in to repair the damage and regrow the collagen, which thickens the skin. And the science behind it is pretty conclusive that use of something like the derma roller over time can cause a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, even sunspots and sun damage in general. And what all of us should be concentrating on if we want to have the best skin possible is to pump up the collagen in our skin. And that's what this little guy does for me. And basically collagen is one of the most important building blocks of your skin. It is what gives youthful skin that thickness, that resilience, that resistance to wrinkles. And unfortunately from the age of 25 on, we lose about 1% of our skin's collagen every single year. And so that means I am 40 or 45% down in the level of collagen I have in my skin. And let's take a look at what that means. On the left, there is a woman in her 30s. And as you can tell, her collagen, elastin, and fibroblasts are in very good shape. And as you can see along the top there, she really doesn't have any wrinkles. Her skin is nice and smooth and level. Well, by the time she's turned 45, her collagen has gone down at least 10 to 15% and her collagen and elastin fibers are degrading. They're getting disorganized there. And as you can see on the top of the skin, where the underlying skin cells and collagen are weak, you start to form those little wrinkles. And then on the right side, you can see a woman in her 60s. And unfortunately, that loss of collagen and elastin and that disorganization of the skin cells are resulting now in deep wrinkles that are very hard to reverse. And so that's what I am trying to do when I am using the derma roller. 
I'm trying to consistently give my skin just a little bit of a wound, a controlled wound, to cause those fibroblasts to rush in and repair the skin much as they do when you're 25 or 30 years old. And that will never happen for me because I am 65 years old, but at least I can give my skin a little bit of help in that area. And I used to use a 0.5 depth derma roller on my face. And again, the 1.5 millimeter derma roller on my body. And I have lots of great videos on how I combated saggy skin very effectively using the 1.5 mm derma roller. However, about a year ago, I had one of my lovely viewers who sent me her before and after pictures of using a cosmetic depth derma roller on her body skin. And I will link that video below, but she had terrible amounts of crepey skin here. And then after using the cosmetic depth short needle, no risk of scarring derma roller on her arms, after a few months, her crepey skin was pretty much gone and her arms were literally transformed. And that got me thinking that instead of using the 1.5 millimeter, very long needle derma roller on my body skin, maybe I would switch to the Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller. And then I read this book, and this is The Concise Guide to Dermal Needling by Dr. Lance Setterfield, MD. This is the second edition of his book. And Dr. Setterfield is basically the father of derma rolling. He pretty much invented it, and he's been doing studies on it for years. And in the first edition of his book, he believed that you needed a deeper needle in order to reduce fine lines and wrinkles or help saggy skin. So he was saying to use at least a 0.5 mm derma roller on the face and a 1.5 millimeter derma roller on the body skin. Well, in the second edition, he did more studies and he realized that this cosmetic depth derma roller of 0.25 to 0.3 can have huge anti-aging benefits. And the advantage of this is because it is such a short needle, there is really no risk of scarring at all. And let me show you the before and after picture of one of Dr. Setterfield's patients who used the cosmetic depth derma rolling. And as you can see there on the left side, there is a 55 year old woman and basically there she is in the before picture. She has lots of fine lines and wrinkles and lots of discoloration from sun damage on her skin. And there she is 18 months later. He said basically she was treated with product for 18 months, which is probably tretinoin. And then for an additional six months, she was treated with a 0.3 millimeter derma roller or a cosmetic depth derma roller. And as you can see in the picture on the right, the woman looks markedly younger. Around her eyes in the before picture, she has quite a few deep wrinkles, and those wrinkles have all but disappeared in the after picture. She even had cheek wrinkles in the before picture, and those wrinkles have smoothed out very significantly, and even her nasal fold area looks much improved in the after picture. And when I read that, I realized that maybe I was using a 0.5 millimeter derma roller on my face and subjecting myself to more risk of scarring. And reading Dr. Setterfield's book, I realized that maybe I didn't have to use such deep needles anymore because there is less risk of scarring the more shallow the needle is. And so I now use a 0.25 or a 0.3 millimeter derma roller on my face and neck. And recently I even switched to doing the same thing on my body. In fact, I ordered a kit that has a wider derma roller but again, it is, I think, a 0.25 or a 0.3 millimeter depth. So the wider roller is really helpful on body skin because it does cover more area, but again, it has the more shallow needles. And let me know in the comments section if you'd like a video down the road looking at my saggy body skin and if I'm still having good results using the Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller on my body skin. Okay, enough talk about that. I did want to go ahead and show you my derma rolling session. And I will say I did it this morning. Normally I do my derma rolling sessions at night. They cause just a little bit of redness and you hardly push at all. So it's not like you are wounding your skin. You're not seeing blood. They used to show these derma rolling sessions which drew blood and I would never do that. If you want to go that route, I think you should only do that with a licensed esthetician. When you're derma rolling at home, you should never see blood. Okay, now I'm going to show you that derma rolling session and I do it on totally clean skin. I go ahead and derma roll. And again, it's generally at night when I do my derma rolling because it makes the skin a little bit red. And when you wake up in the morning, there is no redness and no evidence that you did anything. Okay, let me go ahead and show this to you. And this happens to be a Prosper brand derma roller. I like this one, but I really prefer the Angel Kiss brand. It is Real Needles. This is Real Needles as well. But you can get the Angel Kiss one on Amazon. It is very highly rated. And I have used the derma rollers from a YouTuber, and I will not mention her name, but I have used hers, and actually one of them got stuck in my leg. 
So I decided I wanted to go back to the Angel Kiss Derma Rollers. Okay, here's what I do. I divide my face and neck into various quadrants and I'll show you how I do it. And, and I'm not pushing super hard here. These are very short needles, really no risk of scarring, but you don't want to push very hard. One, two, three, four, five, and then move it over. One, two, three, four, five. It's producing a bit of arrhythmia. Three, four, five, which is that slight redness as the blood rushes to the surface. And then I go crossways. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you hold the skin down where you need to. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Now I get a little closer to the eyes, but be careful. One, two, three, four, five. Now go to the side of the eyes. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And sometimes I'll do the nasal folds again, just five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, so there's that. Now I'll very quickly do the other side. Now I also do my chin and I'll just go gently across it. One, two, three, four, five. Then I go up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I start in the middle of my forehead and I do one, two, three, four, five. 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 And then I go across. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll very quickly do the other side. And I am not pressing hard at all. I am drawing no blood. I don't think you need to draw blood to get your results. And one of the reasons I think my eyebrows are getting thicker is because I also derma roll my eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five. I just do a few extra. Six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the face is done. I'm a little bit red there. And within 15 minutes, I'll look totally normal. This is the morning because I'm shooting the video during the day, but normally I do this at night because then you apply your normal skincare afterwards and you go to sleep and you wake up looking just normal. But I'll go ahead and do my neck. And quite honestly, my neck is always a challenge. I'm not sure this is producing any results on my neck, but it is supposed to. So I think it's good to do. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And then I go across. One, two, three, four, five. Holding the skin. One, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll go up and down again. Then I'll very quickly do the other side. Now, another area that is important is right under the chin. So I'll go ahead and do that. Give it five. It's a little harder. Okay, that was my cosmetic derma rolling session. And as you can tell, it takes less than five minutes and I do it once a week. Well, that was a look at one of my weekly derma rolling sessions with a cosmetic depth derma roller. And I will say that I derma roll only on clean, dry skin. Then I do my derma rolling with the cosmetic depth derma roller. And then I apply my normal skincare because the cosmetic depth derma rollers have been shown to help your skincare ingredients sink a little more deeply into the skin, which is just wonderful. And when you're doing derma rolling at home, it's important that you be very clean. And what I do after each session is that I run this little guy underwater, get it good and clean, 
and then I spray it on all sides with alcohol and then I let it dry before I put it back in its case. And if you are also derma rolling your skin, either face or body, I would love to hear from you. And if you have before and after pictures and wouldn't mind my sharing them with the viewers here, just let me know in the comment section. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'm not going to be reading from any cards now because just the other night I had an experience that brought something to mind that I wanted to share with you. And I won't go into all the details of the experience, but basically Alan and I are going on a pretty major cruise. It's 11 nights to Turkey, Italy, and Greece. We're so excited about it. It's for our 40th wedding anniversary. And last week we realized we still owed about $1,600 on the cruise. And Alan went to their website and tried to put his card in there and he got an error message. So we called a young man at the cruise company, waited 20 minutes to speak to this young man but he basically took the information and said we were all paid off. Well, to make a long story short, turns out we weren't paid off at all. And last night I called the cruise company again, waiting 20 minutes to talk to a young man. And he said, oh no, Mrs. Snyder, you are totally paid off and I will send you your paid off receipt. So I should have waited on the line for the email to come in, I didn't. But once the email came, I looked at it and it said, you owe $1,650. And I'm like, oh gosh, darn it. They told us we paid it last week. Then they said we didn't owe it. Now we obviously do owe it. And then I called into the cruise company and waited 20 minutes to talk to a young lady. And to make a long story short, she left me on hold for two sets of 45 minutes each. So I waited to get this information resolved on hold for an hour and a half. And I was pretty upset about it, I have to admit. And a few times during that long hold, she would come back and say, I'm still working on it. And I think she could hear the irritation in my voice. Well, to make a long story short, Alan is sitting over there working on his laptop and he's like, Beth, don't get irritated. There's nothing you can do. Just, you know, don't ruin your evening. And he's making a lot of sense. But when I'm in the midst of all this anger thinking this cruise company should be doing a better job, it was very hard for me to calm down. Well, then fast forward to this morning and I happen to be watching random fashion videos online and I don't even remember the name of this YouTuber. It's nobody that I'm subscribed to or anything like that. But she talked about finishing off your outfit with a smile and she said it's especially important for us ladies as we get older because you don't want to become a grumpy, sour, bitter old lady. And it was like a light bulb went off. I went, oh my goodness, just the other night I was being a grumpy, sour, bitter old lady to this young lady and I'm sure she gets that a lot, but really I had no reason to make her day any worse by being a grumpy, sour old lady. And I have to admit that in the past I've thought about aging and I've thought about that and I really wanted to make sure that I didn't do that, that I stay happy, open, flexible, and optimistic about life. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, first, let's remember if things get stressful, try to remember to smile. And second, to have a positive attitude so we don't become a grumpy, sour old lady. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.